In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how one of the top riders of South Africa does his interval training. And here he is. This is Daniel. And on his training schedule for today is five times five minutes flat out. And five minutes. I was just going to spin along this road. Are you going to spin with me? Quickly? Dude, my battery's going to... I've got two bars yeah. left. Just ride without your battery. <laughs> All right, so he's just going out on a quick spin before he starts his first five minute interval. All right, and he is off on his first five minute interval or sprint, whatever you'd like to call it. So basically, I'm just going to be following him and recording his interval session. And just to mention, I'm obviously on an e-bike, otherwise I would never be able to keep up with him. He's averaging 400 watts and this guy is extremely light. So for me, that would be like 600 watts up this climb. So I would never be able to keep up. Now just to show you guys, check out this freaking driver turning straight in front of us, completely disregarded us coming. He saw us coming, I looked at him in his face before he turned, I was wondering if he was going to do it or not, and believe it or not, he did it, as you guys can see in the video. Completely disregarded us coming, we were coming with the speed, so he couldn't just wait 5 seconds and then turn after we had gone past for everyone's safety. He had to just turn straight in front of us, putting us both at risk. And the best part is Daniel is still recovering from being hit by a car and now this happens. This could have been this could have been bad, but luckily we are quite experienced riders, so we see these things coming. Interval done and now he has a few minutes to recover before starting the next one. And on to the next five minute interval. As you guys can see, Daniel's coming up full speed behind me. But guys, actually, to be completely honest with you, he's not actually riding that fast. I mean, it's not like I'm riding my e-bike on turbo or anything like that, you know? Kidding. AXS group set by SRAM over there, as you guys can see on Daniel's bike. Very, very nice top end Cannondale mountain bike. Over here, we can see just how fast he's actually going while passing another rider. So at this point, I was a little bit worried because as you can see, I only have one bar left on my e-bike from all of my turbo riding to keep up with Daniel. So um, yeah, let's see how it goes. Anyways, here he comes on his next interval, full gas up the climb. So I decided not to go all the way down with him again because my battery was not going to last and I could never keep up with him with a flat e-bike. <laughs> No, 
Another interval done, on his way back down to start the next one. On his way up the hill again on his next five minute interval. Done and dusted. Now on to the last interval. And there he goes past me for the last time. Sprinting hard for the last time. And done. <laughs> but on. How many watts was that? Average? What do you think went in there? Oh, yeah. Does it stop if I quickly show? Yeah, yes, let's do it again. Oh, it was intervals. That was a tough one. <laughs> that's the hardest intervals I've done since last year. I would say last year, maybe a month before it is now. So it's been a year since I've done, or a year and a bit since I've done something like yeah, this. Yeah, that's pretty much as hard as intervals get, right? Like, get my no, it can. How? Oh, you short get yeah. Oh, the short Like, you had longer ones, but yeah. <laughs> that was sick. And I had no, no knee problems. So. Yeah. But how's your feeling now? Not nah, good. Is it? Yeah, no, it's actually uh, feeling fine. I don't know if it's strapped it up. Strapped up, sorry. But, um, yeah. No, yesterday I felt it, but it was colder. In the cold, I'm feeling it, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now that it's not that cold, I don't know. I don't feel it as much. Are you so. actually going to use this video? I don't know. It's for you. <laughs> this is for me.